Harry revealed he had joined Britain's army of sleep-deprived parents when he visited a hospital in Oxford during a series of official engagements in the city. The Duke, who became a father for the first time last week, was presented with a tiny teddy bear for Archie when he arrived at Oxford Children's Hospital. It was Harry's first day back at work and he had been determined to get organized and prepare for his three engagements in Oxford. But best laid plans go awry for new parents. Christine George, 52, whose son James, 17, is having chemotherapy at the hospital, said, he said he had all this organized, but had a sleepless night last night, not the ideal preparation for his first day at work. Harry, 34, told another parent how his life had already changed since Archie's birth nine days ago. He chatted to mother of two Amy Skellard from Aylesbury whose son Emmett, aged three, is in remission after being diagnosed with testicular cancer when he was two. Holding her 10-week-old daughter Ida, she immediately struck up a conversation about Harry's newborn son. Miss Scullard said, Harry asked me if she was over the stormy period as babies are supposed to be grumpy for the first 10 weeks, and she is. He said he's getting used to the baby and how Archie has fitted into family life. He said he just feels part of the family and can't imagine life without his son. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge met their new nephew, Archie, yesterday. Last night it is understood that William and Kate went to Frogmore Cottage in Windsor to see Harry and Meghan and their baby son for the first time. Earlier, Harry visited the Oxford Sports Centre, which helps people with disabilities stay mobile. It was opened by his mother Princess Diana 30 years ago.